is Laura with DSP Support. In this video, we will go over how to set up transaction codes. When a fee is posted to an account with a due date and transaction code, that is like a flag to the system that you want to keep up with and track payments made on it. When you also use due dates, by default, the system will automatically apply payments to the oldest items that are due first. So, if you select a due date when you post a fee, the system will pay the oldest fee first. If that payment is larger than the oldest fee, it will split that payment into the next fee that is due. So, even though there may be one payment, it may be applied to multiple charges and result in multiple payment lines. Transaction codes can be assigned when you create a credit or debit on a student account. When you assign a transaction code to a transaction, you are grouping similar transactions together. You can then run reports based on those transaction codes. For example, seeing how many charges you have added for costume fees or how much money was paid using AutoPay. You are able to set up transaction codes by going to More, Settings, and then clicking Transaction Codes and Types from the menu on the left. Click Add a new transaction code to get started. Enter the transaction code name and click Add Transaction Code. Once you have added all of the transaction codes you would like, you are able to assign these codes to transactions for things like tuition, registration fees, auto pay, costumes, and more. We recommend adding between five to eight transaction codes. Think of the items you report for accounting and tax purposes. This is a great place to start. One of the places you can assign transaction codes is under online registration. Just go to magic, online registration, Settings tab. Select the transaction code from the drop down menu for registration fees, tuition, and even trials. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and be sure to save your settings. Now, any time a student is enrolled in a class through the parent portal or using the registration manager, the fees will be assigned to that specific transaction code. If you have any additional questions regarding transaction codes, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at DSP Support.